Hello again, a new day, the same old project, and uh, here I have the Akasom 4 port splitter. Let's redo the test we did before, because you know that one was not exactly accurate. There was no terminators on the ports, on the, I don't have terminators, but I was thinking, you know, I have these amplifiers. And these guys, they have 50 ohm loads, so uh, this should be the perfect terminator, isn't that? So we have three amplifiers here. We have the cables ready to go. These are the results from the last test. And we can do a compare with what we can reach today. Nano VNA is up and running. And first, let me have a test to the cables. We have two cables. Nano VNA was calibrated for this uh, range. Is this one here? It's nice to use this software because you don't have to calibrate it often and on and on. So we have the long cable. It's minus zero. Uh, in fact, let's look for 868 up there. You see the red one, the red one, it's on 868 megahertz. Oh, by the way, I'm going to have a 950 megahertz test too. So stay tuned. None. 0403 db and let's check the other cable you know why because i want to deduct all the losings from the cable to be as close as possible and the other guy have 128 db short 0.128 db so these are the cable losings let's start 868 megahertz test first this is the splitter input port 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this time we're gonna have all the ports, let's say, terminated. I'll be back. I'm gonna use the long cable to have the input signal. All right, this is the input here. And let's check port number 1. Yes, port number 1, 2, 3 and 4 are connected to these amplifiers, which are loads or uh, terminators in our case. Okay, port number one test. We should check this number up here. So we have minus 6851. Port number two now, of course, the load goes to number one. We don't let any other ports in the air, not anymore. So all the ports are covered. Look at this number, 6723, minus 6723. Now, for port 3, I expect uh, better. Let's see, port 3, and we have a 6739. And finally, port number 4. Terminator here, number 4, 6.878, 6.878. Now, let's have a test with the signals in between ports, the isolation test. I'm taking this out. Of course, I'm going to use one of these loads to the input port here, so nothing gets in the air anymore. Here we go. Let me have port. Okay, we can do it like that. So it's port 3 with port 4. You know, these guys are very close together and they are connected with some resistor. I expect better numbers, let's say 1 to 4 or, or 2 to 4, 3 to 1 and so on. 1 and 2 are connected somehow with some resistors and uh, 1 and 4 totally isolated from the PCB point of view. And we have a 21.295. So isolation minus 21.295. 7. Good. Better than yesterday, of course. Yesterday we had, let's take a look. Where are the numbers? 15 minus 12. Okay. Now let me have port, um, let's say, port 1 with port 4. So the input goes to 1. Yeah. The output goes to 4. Evidently, load on and let's see. 1 to 4, we have minus 23 dB. 
I said that isolation minus 23275. Very nice. Now, let me check 2 with 4. Okay? We should have the same numbers like minus 23 something because they are different paths inside the splitter. The isolation is somehow better from 1, 2 and 3, 4. Okay? 23, like I said, so we have 2 with 4. Isolation 23066. Let me have 2 with 3. And we should have the same numbers. Okay? And here we go. Minus 22. So this is port 2 with port 3. So we got this and this. Minus 22771. Okay, these are the right numbers. That's the situation for 868 MHz. Now, let's go back and have tests for 950 MHz. And I'll use a calibration from 900 MHz to 930. Stimulus goes 900 MHz to 930 MHz. And let's load the calibration where are you 950 that's the one let me have another diagram here and we say 950 megahertz of course and we'll do exactly the same tests one two three and four input output on port one let's go we'll change something here I'm gonna have the red dot on 950 megahertz and let's follow this number 6.982 very close with uh, the other test yeah port 2 check the number up here 6.968 6.968 yeah very close Come on, port 3, 6931, 931, and finally, number 4, yeah, all of them are okay here, and this here too, let me check, yeah, everything's fine, and sweep, minus 745, minus 7045, not so good, I can see a kind of falling here, Okay, maybe it's not right, but let's do that. 900 to 1000. We need another calibration, of course. Minus 6.8. Minus 6. Point. And look here, it's going down and up again from 980. Hmm. It's like a filter or something? I don't know. But anyway, let's go back to 930 megahertz. Yeah, this is our domain. Uh, okay, the numbers are pretty close with the other test. Now, this is isolation test for 950 megahertz, port 1 to port 4. And we have minus 22, very nice. Minus 22.296, isolation test. Okay, let me have port 1 with port Two. Uh, let me try that. You know, it's kind of same family. I said before, one and two, they are connected somehow on the same branch here. If you remember the PCB layout, there we go. One with two, expect lower number. Yeah, of course, 19.361. 19.361. That will be the same situation, but as long as we are here, let's do 2 with 3. So we have around minus 20 dB for all the ports. That's 2 with 3, and we have a minus 22. Very nice. Minus 22, 740. Absolutely 3 and 4, it will be like 1 and 2, around 19 let's do that too now this stays here this guy goes out of course output on three input on four 
determination on two. Yeah, we are good. And like I said, I was expecting minus 19, 688. Okay, guys, we have a, another one to go and we are done. So uh, let me call it the reverse test. You know why I did that? Because let's say the scenario is like this. We have miners here and they are beaconing. So they are pushing power here and goes to the antenna. Of course, the signal we take the least resistive path. So we have minus 13.3 to the output. And uh, of course, the signal will go like that to the output instead of coming up here, you know, because we have minus 23 and so on. So the, the signal will take the most uh, low resistive uh, paths. So this is the reverse signal from the splitter to the output. Okay, let's push some signal on port 3 and receive it at the splitter input. Let's see if we have the same numbers. This one is the input now. This one is the, okay, the long cable goes to the splitter input. That's the reverse signal. Tell you the truth, I never saw anyone doing this. Reverse signal and sweep. And we have minus 6.7. Hmm? This is interesting. Minus 6.770. Let's try the same with, with the other frequency. 800 megahertz, of course, we'll do the calibration. 6.9, all right. Let me try another port here. So this was port three. Let me try port two. We should have the same number. Yeah, I was a little bit surprised because the reverse signal should be absolutely the same like the input. This is good. Okay, let's go. Minus six. 0.9. All right, but let's have here 860. Oh, okay, it's the same. Minus 6.9. Yes, people. 673. So the reverse signal, it's around the same like the input signal. Uh, I mean the normal path, let's say. Okay, I think uh, these are the numbers. And uh, but we can deduct the cable losings. So we have no doubt about the machine itself, the, the splitter itself. You know, it's not a machine, it's a passive uh, component, so it uh, doesn't have uh, any amplification. Okay, so here are the numbers for 950 megahertz. Okay, yellow ones. Okay, 6.30, almost the same. Slightly, slightly better on 868 megahertz. 6.4, 6.2, 6.5, The general here, it's better on uh, 950. You know, the reverse signal, okay. Reverse signal. Isolation is better on 868 minus, uh, but uh, the difference are very, very low. You'll have this at the end of the video. And I hope uh, this is useful, guys. I hope this time everything is done proper and uh, I can do better than this anyway. Please like, please subscribe and uh, of course don't forget to have fun. 